Australia, we know we love a big thing in this big country and one of the biggest things in Australia is the Big Merino in southern New South Wales. And to celebrate the big 150th anniversary of Goulburn, the home of the Big Merino, the locals decided to make a scarf, a big scarf. Today's Mike Dalton reports. On the southern turnoff, off the Hume, to the southern highland city of Goulburn, lives the Big Merino. Like all big things in Australia, people love to pop in and say hello. <laughs> but the locals love them as much as the visitors. And Rambo, as he's known, is getting kitted up with a knitted scarf from his mates in town. First of all, though, there's the tailoring to sort out with the riggers and craney. Good luck, it's a sticky bloody thing once you unroll it. The logistics are sorted, and it's time for the fitting. The Big Merino was built in 1985. 97 tonnes of him. The two brothers who built him did so to draw the tourist trade into their servo complex. But when the town was bypassed, Rambo would live at the lonely end. Unseen, therefore unloved. But in 2007, he was gently pushed to the bypass to New Digs, a second chance at bigdom, and to be loved again. He always was a handsome boy, but he looks even better now. Listen to you. <laughs> I think you've got a crush. The big merino looking out to the west really looks impressive, and now with his scarf on, he's just lovely. I think he looks gorgeous, very majestic. 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 I love that adjective. I haven't heard that today. Rambo's pretty well known. Most spots you go to sort of thing worldwide, I think, in that regard. Golden Mayor is Jeff Kelly. No. Big things just means big dollars to a local community. A big attraction attracts people off the highway. People stop, take a photo of him, go into the service station, get fuel, have a cup of coffee. So he's that important, certainly essentially? Is. He's a revenue stream. Certainly is. Certainly is. Yeah, I wouldn't sell him for quids. We have all sorts here, mate. I can tell as Rambo has today, it seems. Since you've come down from Brisbane, I would assume that you've stood nude in front of the big prawn. Uh, big prawn on the way back. We've done the big avocado in tweed, the big banana, <laughs> made everything look quite small. Um, what else? Well, that's not good news for you, <laughs> no, no, mate. No, that's hot. Last word to Sue McDonald, speaking for the 125 pairs of hands of volunteers from local nursing homes and the Knitters Guild, who gave Rambo a prezi to mark the town's 150th birthday. Here he is, all finished. We're very proud of our Rambo. <laughs> I think it's the best, biggest thing in the country. Oh, I'm not going to argue with you, Sue. <laughs> oh, it's magnificent. Is she talking about Rambo or our own Mike Dalton? I'm going to stand outside that thing as soon as I can, naked. 